Good morning, Grand High. My name is Victor Gomez. And my name is Mariana. Today is Wednesday, March 21st. And you're watching Pacers, Pacers on, on Demand. Demand. Seniors, did you know that the Alumni Association scholarships are due by the 26th? They are offering $68,000 this year and no more handwriting essays or applications. You can fill it out and print it out online. Repeat, applications for $68,000 are due on the 26th. Fill out and print online. Confused about where to go and how much it's really going to cost? Do you have to take all the loans offered? What's the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized? Is it really worth it to take work study? Time is getting close to the decision to be made and fees will be due. Come for some answers on Wednesday to B10 at 1245 until 4. Workshop will be from 1 to 2. Hope to see you there. Pacer Olympics is this week. Here's the schedule. Today is Wednesday the 20th. Today is an UNO tournament also during lunch. Thursday is flag football after school. And on Friday we will have kickball also after school. For more info, find a leadership student. Leadership, Avid 11, and Interact are participating in the Pennies for Patients campaign for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Money raised will continue to support the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's mission to cure blood cancers and improve the lives of patients and their families. Our campaign ends on 4-22. Thanks for your kind donations and support. News from Geo Recycle Team, we, we need our patients to recycle all plastic bottles we want all patients to stop throwing away plastic bottles and start recycling them. Please use the provided recycling bins in classrooms. Thanks on behalf of the GEO Academy. Kick Butts Day with Friday Night Live is today, Wednesday, March 20th. Friday Night Live is welcoming all grant students to the gathering in support of kicking, cigarette smoking, and vaping. We'll meet after school on Wednesday, March 20th at the flagpole on Grant Avenue. Let's remind the community how important Kick Buds Day is by encouraging all drivers who drive down Grand Avenue to honk their horns. We'll have snacks for the first 50 students that check out Mr. Wong. Go Pacers! Hi Pacers, I'm Maddie and today we're going to be going to the Freshman Award Assembly. Come on! Hi, I'm here with... Dr. Raja. So, why do you feel the need to celebrate the Freshman's GPA? So... We feel the need to celebrate the freshmen's academic achievement because Grant High School is an academic institution. So academics is number one, right? And every single student, as we, as we said yesterday in the assembly, every student has a gift. Every child has a gift. Everybody has a special talent. So it's important for us to celebrate our students that are trying to reach their goals, that are being successful in school, that are trying to uh, reach their potential with their gift. And so it's really important that we make success cool. It has to be cool to be successful in school. And so that's why we're celebrating academic achievement. Is there any advice you'd like to give anyone trying to boost their GPA? Yes, my advice would be, number one, figure out what's your goal. What is your purpose in life? What is your goal? What is your dream? What is your talent? What is your gift? Everybody's born with a special gift or a special talent. Some of us are doctors, teachers, lawyers, businesswomen, uh, a barber, everybody got a gift. So what is your goal? What is your gift? And are you doing the things you have to do in school to help you reach that goal? What kind of GPA do you need? Do you need a 3.0 or 4.0? What kind of GPA do you need to reach your goal? And, and that would be my advice. And number two, I would say it's important to surround yourself with people that are doing good in school. Surround yourself with people that are positive. Because when you surround yourself with positive people, you start doing better too. And number three, failure is not an option. If your goal is to be a businessman or to be a teacher, if that's your goal, failure is not an option. So you got to have the grades and you have to achieve in order to reach those goals. And failure is not an option. So that's my advice. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I'm proud of all the freshmen that have done well. And I encourage everybody to do their best because we got 10 weeks to go. And we have another award ceremony coming in May. And hopefully everybody will receive one of these swag sweatshirts straight out of excellence, Pacer for life. So hopefully everybody will get one of these in May. That's what's up. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm here with Maya, Maya Miller. So Maya, how do you maintain your GPA? 
Um, I just try to do my work and do the best I can in class, and if you need any help, ask the teachers. So what advice would you give people wanting to bring up their GPA? To do extra credit and to make sure you do all your work and turn it in on time and ask your teachers for help. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with... Angel. So, Angel, how do you feel about getting recognized for your hard work? Uh, it feels quite nice, you know, feel a little bit weird, though, being singled out. So what advice would you give to other students wanting to raise their GPA? Uh, turn in your homework and take tests seriously. Thank you for your time. Yay. Okay, Pacers, we just got done with the Freshman Award Ceremony. Have a good day. Pacers on the Man is brought to you by the Grant Student Programming Network. My name is Victor Gomez. And my name is Mariana. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day, Pacers. Pacers.